with Mr. McFarland. Mr. McFarland, how long have you been with O'Connor's Ag Program? This is my ninth year uh, this year at O'Connor. Okay. And when did you take over the, I guess, shop and that component of it? Well, I've been teaching the sh some shop classes the whole time that I've been here, but this is my first year to take over this advanced level uh, ag, ag mechanic shop. And exactly what do ag mechanic students learn? <clears throat> Anything hands-on uh, skills-wise. So um, what I like to tell them is that it's kind of engineer training. So a good engineer that I used to work for a long time ago um, used to always say, you're, you're, you're a lousy engineer, but you can't go in the shop and build it yourself. So a lot of our kids do aspire to do engineering mechanics and high-level stuff as a, a career-wise in their future. And so the goal of this is to get them ready for all aspects of production from planning all the way to finishing out a project. And I think you hit on something that's very important because a lot of times when we hear agricultural mechanics or we hear FFA, we think of farm, ranch, we think of sure. I'm going to be there, but you hit the nail on the head about engineering. Right. That could be any type of engineering, from electrical engineering to engineering in general and putting together a building. But Correct. they're learning the foundations here in this program, right? That's right. And so, if I was an ag student or an ag mech student, I would start with a basic blueprint and then go from where? Um, if you were a student, it depends on what grade you're in. Because you might, uh, on a senior level, you may be drawing the blueprints. Um, on a sophomore level, I may be giving you the plans. Um, and it's just interpreting. Uh, if I give you the plans, I'm going to help you learn how to interpret and read measurements and turn turn what's on paper into reality. And then all the way up by the time you're a senior, then you're expected to be able to do all of that yourself. And my job is just to guide you through the process uh, along the way. And be there in case I can't quite get my angle correct or can't sure. get my measurement perfect. You're there to help with that. Right, right. But I think we need to stress at home that these students, especially by the time they're seniors, they will have developed the build material a cost of the project itself. And then they're going to construct it from the very nuts and bolts all the way to the right. finished painting and ready to hit the showroom floor. That's right. That's right. And speaking of the showroom floor, these students are going to have their big showroom experience this Friday and that's going to be with the with the the Walter Gerlock Ag Mechanics show. That's correct. And you get to start the show off this year. We That's do. a little different. We isn't do. It? We're excited about that, and then hopefully hit the high note and set the bar high for the rest of the week. And it's a little different this year too because of the pandemic. Correct. Correct. So normally <laughs> the show would have been out at the Walter Gerlach Barn. Yes, sir. But this year it's going to be right here at Old Pond. It's here on campus in our uh, agriculture multi-purpose building. Now, from some ways, that might be nice for the ag students because. Last year they had to compete with a monsoon and mud sure. and you name it. <clears throat> sure. So the elements are going to be a little bit different. It'll be nice. Uh, it'll be nice indoor weather, uh, no matter what it is outside. But I, I will say there's a lot of students that uh, that they they really enjoy whatever Mother Nature throws. And, and learning that it was here this year, they were a little sad into that. It wasn't the uh, original Gerlach experience. But all in all, it is going to be a better um, it's going to be better lit. It's going to be a better environment. It's going to be just a better better place for, for all the, the projects to be under one roof. And let's talk about another change. Mm -hmm. It would be wonderful for everybody to come up and see the hard work that these students have done. Right. But it's a different year. Sure. A different time. So it's important to remind everybody that really you only the directors of the program and parents. That's right. So the, the only people invited, I hate to say that, we want everybody to see our, our work that we're doing. Um, only people that will be invited to the showgrounds uh, here on campus is going to be uh, obviously stock show directors, the student exhibitors, and then their parents or immediate family members. So if I'm entering a project for the Bill do I start it two weeks before the show? <laughs> uh, hopefully not. <laughs> what is the typical time? Um, this year, of course, pandemic uh, is in control of, of more than we'd like. So most of these projects were started right before Thanksgiving. In, a, in any other given year, we like to start them early, around September or early October. Um, I think the latest project was started right before Christmas this year. Um, 
and then they'll work all the way up to the last minute here over the next couple of days. Yeah. And those projects can range in size and scope from being a very small cutting board all the way up to I hear that there's going to be an outdoor kitchen. We've got we've got a, a quite an array of, of projects. So uh, maybe the smallest would be some indoor furniture type things. Um, all the way to outdoor, there's an outdoor kitchen that will be uh, presented, hopefully. And there's a big barbecue pit on a trailer that's coming in, and a big cattle guard, and all kinds of uh, everything in between. Um, it's, it's really a joy to see what everybody comes up with and, and how everything finishes up. But um, um, too bad you can't shop there, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But some of the projects may be available for sale at... Down, down the road, so um, the, the outdoor kitchen is going to be exhibited in the San Antonio Marketplace, which eventually will be for sale for auction. Um, there are some other projects that, that may be for sale for the right price, but the exhibitors are not allowed to uh, display those items for sale. So that's just a, a learn through the grapevine kind of thing right now. But if I'm interested in sponsoring the project mm -hmm. for next year, mm -hmm. how do I go about doing that? You get a hold of me, and then I'll figure out what you got in mind, and then I'll get some students to, uh, to the project that you've got to do. And how do I find you? Well, the best way is to email me, wesley.mcfarland at nisd.net. Perfect. And the Gerlach will start on Friday and continue until next Friday? The showing will go all the way through next Wednesday. Um, then the auction will begin online Thursday and Friday. But of course, the live auction um, traditionally is on Saturday morning at 1030, so we'll have that to enjoy as well. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, and we wish all the students at Northside the best of luck at Gerlach and down the road at Houston, San Antonio, and other shows. Thanks very much. It's been a joy. So to this afternoon, we're here with Matthew Escobedo. Yes, sir. And you're a senior at O'Connor High School? Yes, sir. How long have you been involved with the FFA program? Uh, since my freshman year. Okay. Uh, I've always enjoyed uh, messing with ag mag stuff and with the pigs and animals in general so everybody at home may not be familiar with the term ag mag so let's let everyone understand ag mag stands for uh agricultural mechanics so it could be uh like tractor tractor restoration it could be building a barbecue pit it, it's just it tests what you can build or your abilities to do well, more importantly, though, and a lot of people think that the FFA program is just about animals, but it's evolved into much more of that, the complete agribusiness side of it. So you're also learning skills in the AgMEC program, building gates, putting yes, fence together. So if you were to get a job on a ranch or you were to get a job involved with the agricultural business, you're learning those skills that you need to be able to function complete as yourself on a ranch, correct? Yes, sir. And so, what has been your biggest excitement about AgMet? My biggest excitement about AgMet was, or is, that I learned new things. I, mean, I didn't know how to weld until I came here. They showed show me how to weld, and I mean, that's my biggest enjoyment is welding. And then, uh, using all different types of machinery in here that I've never used before learning how to use them and so I can use it by myself when I'm on my own. All of this is in preparation and you've been working extremely hard for the Walter Gerlock. Yes sir. Tell me what the Walter Gerlock is. Walter Gerlock, it's a show, it's a, it's a show that you can show that, oh I messed up, I'm sorry. No, you're good. But it, it, it's to show what you've accomplished all year. How, how, much you, how much you've worked with your pig or your steer, any animal you have here. But let's back up for just a second. The Gerlock itself is kind of like the San Antonio stock show. Yes, sir. It's a livestock show that is limited to just, just side students. Side students. Okay. And there are actually kind of two components to, or actually, I guess we should say three. We have the ag mech or agricultural mechanics where you're developing a program or project for it. But there's also the livestock portion and you're participating in that as well. Are you yes, not? sir. What are you showing for the livestock? I'm showing a pig. Okay. How, long, how many years have you shown a pig? Oh, this has been my fourth year this year. And how did you do the previous years? Uh, I placed every year. So you're hoping to make the sale again this year? Yes, sir. Okay. And then the third component, of course, would be the livestock judging, which they've had in the past where students actually participate as 
judges. Yes, sir. So Gerlach is going to start this Friday, right? Yes, sir. And you're first up with? Agmac, my tractor. And then next week you will? We show him my pig. Perfect. All right, Matt. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you.